Professor Coomer here again. We are in essay three. We're talking about outlining. Okay, so this essay, like every other essay that you will ever write, you should write down an outline. What is required in an outline? What makes a good outline? Well, you'll have to have a plan. And that means you need to have a thesis statement and you'll need to have topic sentences. And remember, the rule that we have in this class is that all of your topic sentences should be completely written out. They should be complete sentences because a complete sentence is a finished sentence. You can always edit it. You can always change it. But it's a sentence that is a complete thought that you can use in your essay. You're not doing double work. Now, in this essay, you will have an introduction. For an outline, you generally don't need to plan out your introduction. But in this essay, I just want to say real quick that in your introduction, it is okay if you want to discuss the basics of the, uh, the subject matter, okay? So for instance, if the author was talking about, uh, if the author was talking about gun control or uh, environmentalism or whatever the subject may be, you can briefly discuss it up here. You will not make an argument about it. This is not an argumentative essay where you say your opinion. You just briefly introduce the topic, say maybe this side says this, this side says this. There are many people who have discussions about this. And then you lead your, you lead your reader to the thesis statement. So the very end, near the end of your introduction should be concerned with the essay that you're responding to. Remember, you're analyzing a, uh, an article. So because we're doing that, that's the goal. The goal of this essay is to provide analysis. And because of that, we know that our thesis statement should reflect that, okay? Our thesis statement should be um, one that is focused on the essay that we're, we're analyzing. So the author's name should be in your thesis statement. Uh, the name of or the title of the article should be in your thesis statement and that will be the topic Okay, and then remember you you have to have the topic so we know the author's name and The title are there Then we're going to get your opinion or your argument about that topic. So Was it convincing? Did it do a good job of reaching its audience? Did it mostly do a good job, but it could have used a little work in area X, Y, and Z. This is your opinion, okay? You're going to provide proof for this opinion in your essay. So if you have not done the first two steps, if you've not done um, the, uh, the brainstorming, clustering, free writing, if you've not under really taken the time to understand your audience, Go back and do those before you get to this part. You are not ready if you've not determined who the audience is in a very precise way, and if you've not decided what points, what reasons, what things you're going to use in your analysis. Uh, so, so go back and do those if you haven't done those yet. But I'm gonna assume you're, you're up to speed, you've been doing all those things. Let's move on to the next por uh, portion. So after I get done saying, this is my opinion, this is, this is my analysis, I'm going to have to prove it. Now the first thing I want to do, I'm just, vi just visually representing parts of your essay. The first thing I want to do is I need to understand that my reader may not have read the article, okay? It's possible that you know, this person needs to know what it is that I'm commenting on. I also need to prove to those who did read the article that I read the article and understand it well, okay? So to do that, we have a summary. So if you used, um, so, so in this portion here, you're going to give a basically just a summary of the article. And remember, a summary is, is never your own opinion. A summary is, is, is just really, General, this is, this is what was said, these are the main ideas, this is the main points that were brought up, this is the, you know, if you don't remember how to do a summary, take a look at the instructions that I have on Blackboard, okay? Or see me, I'd be happy to go over it with you again. But at this point in the semester, you should have done, at this point, four to six summaries by now. So you should be, have a pretty good idea of how to do a summary. Now, once you've provided your summary and your MLA citation and all that is correct, then the rest of the essay is gonna be dedicated to analysis. So you may have 
topic sentence number one after the summary, that topic sentence may bring up an issue or a reason that the author said his or her argument was correct. And then you will discuss that in this paragraph. Discuss it. Is this something that would make sense to the audience that this author is trying to read? Is this, is this uh, uh, argument that maybe the audience would automatically disagree with? And it, that's why it was a good thing that the author provided a lot of research, a lot of evidence. Or maybe, maybe you're saying, you know what? This author made this claim, but the author should have known that it was going, that this audience would not accept it. And that's why the, the author should have provided more evidence. You're just gonna give reasons why it's a good, it was a good thing to bring up in the essay or why it was a bad thing to bring up in the essay. Or you're gonna talk about maybe uh, there should have been more evidence to back that up. Maybe it was a good point, but the author just kind of breezed past it and didn't give any really good evidence as to why it's true. So you just, what you're gonna do is say, basically this, the, the author, if the author would have wanted to make the argument stronger, he or she would have added more evidence, okay? And you're gonna do this multiple times, okay? So, you know, two, three, you know, who knows how many paragraphs you'll have. Um, most likely, you know, maybe, who knows, maybe you'll have six paragraphs here, okay? But the really important thing is not the number of paragraphs. It's not the, it's not how many paragraphs. So stop counting paragraphs if, if that's something that you've, you've gotten in the habit of doing. What we're really concerned with is quality of analysis in this essay. So maybe put the, plan out a whole bunch of, of paragraphs. Maybe you have a lot of ideas, things you want to bring up. And then go back and say, what are the strongest ones? What are the ones that I really can dig deep into? And focus on those. Who knows, maybe you'll only have two or three. Maybe you'll have six. But the, the important thing is not necessarily how many. The important thing is how well you can articulate to your reader, which is me, that uh, this was a good point, but it needed more evidence. Or this was a good point and the author provided perfect evidence. In fact, this evidence would have reached this audience and, and it's very well known that this audience, um, you know, listens to this news source the most. So that's why it was so helpful that the audience was able to read evidence from that news source in this essay. Really think about it. Why is, you know, why is this good evidence? What makes this believable? Why is it, why is it really weak? Why is it really strong? Again, read over the, the, uh, the assignment sheet um, read over the chapters that I assigned in the book. Really try to understand what the author is arguing and, you know, was this a good point? Was this a bad point? You know, was, did this author provide enough evidence for that point? Really, you really do need to plan this out, okay? Eventually you'll get to the conclusion and that's all you're going to do in the conclusion is just wrap it up. Kind of remind your audience of all the things that, uh, that you just said and all the reasons why uh, you gave, why the, the essay was, was effective or was ineffective, okay? So you've got a lot of thinking to do. This is, this is a lot more complex, really. It's a lot more complex than the first two essays. That's okay, you can do this. There are millions of other college students doing this right now and, uh, and you can do it too. So take some time, really think it through, you know, go through multiple versions of this, go through multiple drafts of just the outline. That's fine. The whole point is to get a really good essay at the end. So, all right, that's outlining, get to it.